<coughs> Hello everyone. I want to do a a quick episode on the importance of following your intuition, but not an intuition that someone else can tell you to follow. Do you know what I mean? You can only see it. That's why you follow it, right? It's your own vision. It's your own extra vision, right? It doesn't need to be shared with others. It's just what you see, right? Because you see, a lot of people, when they understand something new about themselves, they want to see if, with their application of their new understanding, if it has changed in front of others. And what they realize is that regardless of how life has been molded in that moment, there's a sense of knowing that knows that you're here. What is it that knows that you're here? You know, whether you want to see it as a neural pathway or you want to see it as your connection to all that is, regardless of what spectrum or categorization, regardless of the measurement, do we first know what's going on? We see that we don't know what's going on, right? And then we measure to know. It's as if there's always this first, I don't know, but then we measure and we were like, okay, now I know. You know, it's as if like one man based on <clears throat> language cannot, you know, communicate all existence. But as he changes his view, literally by tuning himself with different um, energies, you know, when I say energies, I mean it's your sensitivity to what is around you. <clears throat> For example, sometimes when I touch a tree, I feel, you know, I, I feel the material. But at the same time, it's as if, um, how is it that this tree's branch has climbed so high to be right on the same level as my fingers? You know what I mean? I, there's always a coincidence to life. There's always that apple falling out of nowhere. You know what I mean? There's always, you know, coincidences that it's our I don't know moment. When we have two I know moments, irrelevant, suddenly connecting, we're like, okay, wait a minute, I, I don't know what's going on. These coincidences are too much, or these, like, for example, intuitive things, these things I know before I go into them, is, um, <clears throat> it's very interesting, you know, because it's not just a, a confidence thing, which is supposed to be confidential, it's, it's simply a very natural way of looking at why you're here. And then that dictates how you're going to spend your time here, okay? If you think you've come here to just be a mechanical body and just, you know, be, <clears throat> do something and just leave, you know, regardless of whether you believe <clears throat> there's an infinity sign before birth and after death, regardless if you believe that, <clears throat> there is a deeper sense of presence that suggests that. In other words, the infinity of nothingness is greater than the inf infinite something else's. Do you know what I mean? Like imagine that right now you could have any option of, let's say, whatever. You know, I'm getting slightly hungry, so I'd say food, probably. Let's say you had any option of food. But then what if someone told you you had all those options because you could choose any option of view of life you want, you know? any option of view that I'm not guys I'm talking about an internal view <clears throat> and you realize you're setting the limits based on what you're doing Do you know what I mean it's like the child is touching the toy at first to understand how his hands moving Do you know what I mean and how the, what the toy is right <clears throat> for you to have greater knowing you must engage life differently than how you're doing now if you're distracted you need to engage life fully. That's pretty much it. Engage life fully and then you'll see what's valuable for you, right? Because everyone's unique. Not everyone's going to the same heaven, you know? It's as if every, every desire and, you know, every sense of self that fears is simply just a creative drawing on a page. When you understand this and you understand the value in change, then you can be okay to see your life change quickly. Ask yourself, how quickly are you willing to see your life change? And based on that, you will know the amount of action you need to do. You know? You will see it, you will find it. 
You see guys, it's very important to see if life is you or is against you. And if it is against you, if you think life is against you, against who? Because I'm pretty sure we're all alive. <laughs> you know? I mean, what is age? What What is the reason for a mature mind, let's say an old person's mind, not to be as open as a youthful? It's only in regards to the association with that kind of mind. You know? It's as if when you're sleeping, someone comes up to you and tells you, no man, you're not sleeping, right? <laughs> you know, assume, assume this. And <clears throat> it's, it's, it's very interesting how that plays out because It's very important to look <clears throat> at a formed solution and a formless solution. And this might sound off slightly, but listen, listen to what I mean. A formless solution and, you know, a formed solution, right? Well, when you look at life and if you think you have a lack, right? If you have a lack, then <clears throat> you will work with the mindset that there is something against you and then in the life that you continue to build you have this feeling of being alive but that there's something against you and that something against you could for a lot of people be their fears but what's the worst fear death so that's the only fear you actually need to pay attention to do you know what i mean other things you don't need to be afraid you just need to be aware of what's happening and just act you know what I mean it's very <clears throat> just um, expressive on its own you know it's like once you see a certain view it doesn't matter how you talk it's 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 such you can communicate it and communication is important because we need communicators to communicate technologies of communication that are being um, <clears throat> you know pulled towards a meaningless direction you know <clears throat> you see your parents say or everybody and you know just culture generally says be confident you know but you you ask yourself okay how confident is a dying man well then it, you become wondrous you're like a dying man so it's let me just see what's gonna happen after these years Do you know what I mean? when you go search for that question where you want to see what happens after you have done everything in, a, in this physical life. You know what I mean? What happens then? You go and recognize that self-awareness is the only thing that can happen. Because you have to clear your own knots. And so you need to be sensitive and very caring to yourself. So the, I guess that before anyone actually, internally, you should care for yourself the most. Let me tell you what that means. That doesn't mean create an idea it's not like an ego thing. I mean this in a sense that <clears throat> you see based on how sensitive and aware you are of what's going on eventually what the greatest thing your mind can do is to <clears throat> connect every separate thing it's considered you know what i mean your mind considers separate things and together builds them to create a unified experience you know what people can define as the internal human experience is one of no meaning whereas if they're born in this mental it's as if their mind is just absorbing stuff and it's transparent it's as if their mind has no limits but we are seeing the all the things that it's creating you know as it as you know as, as a child's growing up and whatnot right <clears throat> so there is a conception of a separation and guys some of these are done on um you know i don't i don't know how to i don't know actually what kind of 
word to use, whether I should say subconsciously or unconsciously, but your eyes, your senses are creating this scene. Literally look out through your view. And you know, for those who are not given color vision from the beginning of their birth, then you need to explore the limits of your realm of vision. You know, not everybody has all their senses. You know what I mean? As, and as you get older, these senses fluctuate, right? So it's an amazing time that when you're young, you go and experience the full, uh, you know, I don't want to say, you just experience your body and your, your just your presence. You know, there's literally no words. You sit down and you just, after some point, you observe what is you. You know, and you choose how <clears throat> limited you want your life to be for yourself. You choose it. I mean, there's no other way you can say it. <clears throat> you see, unless you know you, you don't use language and you imply by pre action. You know. <clears throat> what I guess I could say very, very nicely is that we are here, right? And this whole, f this episode, I, I wanted to show you, even though I did not completely show you properly, but <clears throat> I guess I could say, Guys, when you're outside, sometimes alone, let's say you're walking somewhere or something, literally have in your mind something interesting to observe about nature, right? And when I say nature, it could be anything. It could be just to how plants are alive and also to how humans are alive, you know? Nature doesn't mean you <clears throat> just look at... It means you look at things from a non-judgmental view so nothing bothers you. Do you know what I mean? When you get comfortable with formless internal observance you, you you just see the shapes differently and things open up to you in other words all I'm saying is be a slightly more sensitive to the how the quality of your life is the quality you only know how good the quality is nobody else knows because it's your life right so <clears throat> check out the quality of your life and see what you need to change and immediately do it if you have to do you know what I mean it's not that hard <clears throat> efficiency comes from awareness guys awareness is the biggest skill you want in your life you know and i'll tell i'll tell you in a sense in regards to all those people who, who will be going into nine to five jobs perhaps in companies of unknown leadership You choose your view. And you choose on some degree what you view after death. Because it, if it connects to what you are, you know. Guys, I'll tell you something. Be very comfortable in your life. And when I say comfortable, it doesn't mean physically just like be on a couch or something, you know, I, or I, I'm saying be, get comfortable with change and how it happens in your life. And you'll always be comfortable, you know? It's like, once you know you can do something, the potential of you doing it the next time is there. You know, it's as if nobody became art uh, masterful uh, like before the first one first time symptoms I don't know how to explain that actually uh, you know let nature guide you on your walk and I, I wanted to say some games you could play and when I say games, it's as if some, it's ob observational games. In other words, let's say you're walking from here to there or to the other side of the park. And just let 
something randomly interesting kind of like call you. I don't know how to say it. Like. Like, for example, go find uh, a, a rock, you know what I mean? Let a rock talk to you. In other words, go, go, go look at a bunch of rocks, you know, and choose the one that is not talking to you or is talking to you in a certain way you know. And when I say talking, I mean, I mean like, you see, the mind is a creative place. And if a, if a physical being is not aware of, the, of what is here and what is the mind, then there's instability in perception and you know then that is not that is that is slightly close to <sighs> conditions of great illusion in other words you see an illusion some images in front of you but you're not there that's that's an illusion and you're you are seeing an image uh, but it's not there it's as if you can't tell the difference between an apple and an orange you can't tell you know the difference between an atom and you know what's above our atmosphere because you know you need your sensitivity needs to be ranging in many ways and internal dialect or internal just thoughts, just literally your your thinking, you know, your thinking some of the ideas literally literally the ideas you have right now, you know. Once you observe the change of them too, you will internally be an able person in regards to not being bothered by things. Do you know? It's like once you know where your home is, when you know where your home is, you're comfortable there, right? And it's insane because your internal home can come to the moment and you will go on this whole life feeling you've all, you're always home and there's this beautiful adventure and your life will tune into a very uh, beautiful, you know, I guess, opening of the lotus. It's, it's a very, very fascinating thing in that regard. Creation needs to hear all of itself and that is probably the most universal thing and existential thing someone can say and let us be guided by our intuition whatever we find that to be and to fly into that unknown area which was never uncomfortable but you know overwhelming and that's good you want a life that is slightly over more overwhelming each day you know and in, in regards to experience you know I mean, you, you need to understand guys the experience of life internally is not limited to one body it's as if that essence that was experiencing these mental views in the mind just, just these views, you know, understood that the physical body doesn't need to be that involved in regards to this experience, this collective experience we all have. Um, and this is very hard for me to explain because um, it, can't, it can't be written down, it's not worded, it's not conceptualized answer because you see your body is a, is a, is asleep and you have a dream that's pretty much like a trip that's like pretty much taking um, that that is going into an altered state of consciousness if you remember any dream you can see you might you might create a conscious difference of it being not a normal you know normal thing you see throughout your day but you see you are choosing how much to perceive and artists and any form of create creators look through their eyes, you know, to see what else they can create. The most important place that creativity needs to be is in the mind of children when they are growing up to look at our problems and the answers we've had before. 
We need our children need to be our saviors. Do you understand? That means that's that means we need to invest and the first thing we need to fix before anything is the quality of education and life children are gotten, let's say, in their youth. You know what I mean? Do we really want a schooling system that is defining things they might have to break to retain, you know, their 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 pre- existential awareness? I don't know how to say it, but you know. So follow these ideas. Try to try to see what can happen. Try to see what the next um, greater view of your presence is, and understand that. This life, as long as there's separation, there's game. The moment the the how would I say it? the gunshot of that person who started the race the cat and mouse race chose to make fun of life and death chase life is a chase we're always searching after something we're always seeking something we're not complete full we are not there you know really look at that idea do you feel you're really separate Do you feel that's a physical object, this is you, and your experience, and the experience that moment, that space, that location has, you know, how would it be, you know what I mean? Have you really thought about who is it that it, that's looking out of the eyes of someone when they are not, you know, self-conceived? And when I say they, I mean you. It's as if when, when you have a view that becomes non-judgmental but aware and able to judge at any time, you know, you, when you do this meditational practice, it's not some people misunderstand because they, they, they've never thought of that idea. It's as if all those people who disagreed with something they hadn't heard the new ideas on were lost. So the information you're deciding to live, you know, every moment of your life is pretty much deciding your quality of being you know quality of being is is very important and that is one thing where the earth has given us everything we'd ever need guys listen some people think we are still apes in regards to the science fictional evolution we can perceive ourselves to have you know but people need to also understand this, that there's there's some truth when we understand that this life is a greater leap. In other words, our evolution is not going to be the same or even proportional amount to what has been the evolution of the ape into, you know, man. So when you when you look at this, you you open a sense of revelation in yourself that the truth that you had thought is not true but then what is true it's as if like you no longer believe you're trapped so you're not trapped but now what are you that now you're not trapped you know you see guys you need to become sensitive to your quality of life and then you'll see what's important in your life you know if you're sensitive to just the quality of an idea, and ideas come and go, and I- ideas, um, you know, leave you as much as you leave them. So understand this. Understand that sometimes you might think our future is an idea we like right now. But no, you don't know the evolution of ideas. The idea comes and goes. And then other ideas come in your life, you know? It's like if you're deciding only based on a set rule, you're missing out on all these other rides you could take, you know? And that doesn't mean you're missing. It, it, it's kind of like you choose how much to get out of your day. You know, you choose if you want to wake up and at the end of the night be like, I had the greatest day because I literally saw stuff that was new in regards to knowledge, wisdom, and, you know, uh, 
you know, observance. Very calm observance, you know. I want to let everyone know I find myself if with any label which I would keep as my last label, it would be a mystic. You know? I would not be named. I would suggest the value in names because they are sound, they are locations. Names are locations. You're giving someone a map to you when you give someone your, your name, right? However, you need to understand that our vision evolves by us going through changes and understanding we are going through one so we are changing so stop worrying so much stop worrying so much what you've done and stuff and just being under that much self-created weight you know it's like you're choosing to carry those unnecessary bags of just past ideas you know Think about what the new idea of you would be and understand that you have free will, you have ability to create, you know, and because you have the ability of create to, to create, you are always self-creating. So you're creating different senses of self. So don't think you're lost. Youth youth is found in the moment. Those who feel they have grown up like trees who can't go further are forgetting the grounds they were planted in. It's as if the seed had, was so um, just motivated to influence, to run towards being the tree as soon as possible and forgot that it was meant to be enjoying every minute, you know? Think of your life as a tree, you know? Think of it, think of, you know, death being the dissolution of you, but in a sense that the end of the peak of the tree the tree can't grow any further this is as far as life and it's deep and it's the you know its structure its organic structure is built you know to see that kind of alignment of uh, how the life and the vegetation gives this specific seed this ability and gives that one ability you know seeds are actually um, showing us greater cycles of change in regards to human being you know we grow our nature goes up right you know it's because let me tell you you need to spend half of your life creating very efficiently right not just half actually you need to spend the whole time but when i say half it's as if you are running towards the next idea of what you're going to be you're searching for ideas here it's like this craving you're searching for ideas you want to no no give me the next one let me see what's under the next thing right you need to understand that if if suddenly you stop feeling playful and you feel like you don't know yourself that's a ridiculous idea you know <laughs> get rid of it you know you know yourself even if you sometimes are distracted the human attention span is not that strong you know what I mean we're not for example dogs are more sensitive other 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 things are more sensitive when you look at why animals for example are sensitive to things that a human being is too distracted to be is because they're letting themselves be alive and they're not judging every action based on the, this last action it's it's like why would you judge yourself based on your last action you don't need to be judging your past unless it is it is opening up your future. You know? For example, if I spent my whole life, you know, <laughs> just like spending, you know, my my time just reading about cutlery, I'd have a life that's that would feel like it's cut up, you know, and unnecessary in that in that way. How do we evolve ourselves? And we see that we are evolving. And regardless of any sensitivities to what we are and what we're not, because you know, you go ask someone what, like you know, maybe <laughs> I think if you, could, if anyone went and asked someone, hey man, what are you? Yeah, you know, and you know, ask how many people 
h- how able they are to communicate their answers. Right. If they have, if they have to sit, you know. And you see that it's not meant to be communicated. It's not made for that level of translation. You're not made to simplify something that much. You see, in life, if you simplify things, you will reach a freer state. You know, you'll you'll be at a different state of awareness and consciousness to experience life. If you go towards simplicity, if you go towards complexity, you will get tired, because you know, uh, you will you will see that it is making the the generally accepted and you know manageable view on life to be altered. You know, guys, I I'm talking about deep ideas. These are not for the ears of anyone. If you're hearing this, there's there should be a very good reason and you should definitely find that out for yourself while you're hearing what I'm talking about. Because it's all about honesty. It's honest, guys, don't let dishonesty be inaccuracy in your life. And what I mean by that is that um, when you're dishonest, it's as if like you feel you've fucked up. You, I'm sorry to use that language. You feel you, you, you've messed up. And when you feel you've messed up, you have this internal dialogue on why. Sometimes we want to explain ourselves in that way. Why? Why is my life like this? And you know, you see the way you want your explanation suggests the truth you see. If you want your ex, you have a preference here. You know, because there's a shaped version of you. You're not every other human being. You know, there there could never be statistics of the same human being, because internally their experiences were completely different. What is the difference between me and a person around the world? You know, somewhere else is that we're both alive, experiencing and going through the cycle of life and death, right? Going, just living, being alive and dying. You know. It's as if once you look at the fractal nature of change in our existence and its whirling potentials, you, you just see like that all limitation is considered to be held. You who's holding the limitations? Where where are you placing that flag? What is keeping that pole up? You know? And you you realize it is not an idea based thing. It is an existential thing. That's where you find a very valuable sense of life, right? And you realize you never needed the game of enlightenment. You see, it's like when you're playing a lot of games, if someone offers you something that's not a game, you'd still be playing a game in your mind. You'd be like, oh, okay, let's do this. You know, you choose the games you want to play. Sometimes you don't have to play games. You could just be alive. You could just be like that blue jay that just flew above me. Wow. <laughs> and anyways, um, it's it's a sensitivity in your own attention because you see the mind is a very capable machine, and your mind has not just recorded everything ever known. But the reason it's been record it's recorded everything in your existence accurately is because it it is all existence on some level of conception. You know, your intelligence does not come from a formed source; it has formless origins. We have formless origins because we don't know and we cannot see. We may choose to think that our life is based on uh, visual perception, but even visual me- perception fades in memory. You know? So we can see with what degree of consciousness you want to live your life, because that suggests what comes in your life. Do you know what I mean? The kid, for example, I'll tell you an example. There's this kid. Who, I, I'm not gonna tell people where he's from, so people, you know, don't don't judge. But there was this kid born in a village somewhere, right? And in his primary textbooks, he would write that he would want to be a heart surgeon. And he would write, it's you know, on the as as names, you know, you know how people write their names on their books, you know. He would write his name, but beside it, he would put himself as a heart surgeon. He would put as hearts, you know, heart surgeon whatever his name was, right? That's how he was in the books, right? He had this preference of what he wanted to be because he was interested by that idea, right? The reason, guys, it's better when, when you're youthful, some people think, it's because you're, you are more attentive and conscious of that livelihood that is only present in the moment. Um, as you grow up, you go into this um, suddenly 
accelerated um, in, in, in consider an insensitive uh, me mechanical world that is the society which we are governing and governed by. You see? <clears throat> we choose the quality of human life on this planet. And that's something that people should innately know. You know, you should innately know. Hey, if an alien, you know, let me let me tell you. <laughs> if if there was some judgment day or if there was some extraterrestrial who came down, <clears throat> would you be afraid of that idea or would you be afraid of death more? Do you know? Guys, it's not you're not afraid of things. People are just afraid of death. Death is the worst fear and it is it is the funnel of all other fears, right? So anything that implies death will make you uncomfortable. But if you're comfortable with examining life, death and the quality of experience, you suddenly see some some sudden fears fade. And what I mean by these fears is that you see um The whole thing as no longer a question chasing an answer and an answer chasing a question. You no longer just see it having to only be just the sky has to be black or it has to be blue. It is fascinating for me to remember that we must enjoy our walks here every moment wherever you're headed you must enjoy your presence you must be comfortable and you must really be willing to see how exciting your next view is you know you need to be really excited about seeing things to really go see things you know life has the potential to give you great moments that are beyond your you know your level of assumption right now in other words the ideas you have of the ways you can experience yourself here on this planet as you become more attentive to silence and stillness and uh, self-awareness Silence, stillness, self-awareness. Please write that on, you know, t-shirts, gosh. You know, hopefully in rallies. And <clears throat> let yourself become the light that you are and the light that's in your eyes. Thank you.